Hey, Ben Baxter here with Anglers All. Today we're gonna tie up the chocolate foam back converter for you. So I'm starting here with a TMCO Umco 2487, size 18. Using the dark brown ADOT uni thread here. Start a little, about an eye behind the eye, eyes length behind the eye. Wrap to about halfway. I'm gonna tie in the extra small copper wire here. You could probably use a small on this, this size of a fly, this size of a hook. I prefer a little smaller segmentation if I can get it. I want to fly this small. Now I'm taking a Sparkle Emerger yarn. You could use a Zelon or something along those lines if you wanted to or you could not even put a tail on this it's really up to you I kind of like this almost gives more of a shuck look to it more tail I don't know if you want to see it got about I don't know 15 of those fibers in there you can sparse that up if you want. Whatever you like. Trim that out. Now I'm using some rabbit dubbing. This is just a standard brown color. You could do this fly in an olive or gray or a black. Bunch of different colors you could do this with. Just being very minimal on the amount of this dubbing I put in. There's some guard hairs in here. Kind of picked out some of the thick, real long ones. Um, you can leave them in there and just trim them out afterwards, or even leave them in there. It gives more of a, a buggy look to this fly. A little half hitch in that right there. I'm gonna actually use my rotary function on my vise to rib this fly. Just makes life a little easier so you're not doing the hand over hand technique. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if you've got a rotary, why not use it? Tie that off. Do our little helicopter to get rid of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit more dubbing right here. And lastly, I'm using, this is fly foam from Wopsy. I'm actually using the 1.5 millimeter. What I did was just trim it into a really slender uh, square piece there. And I cut the bottom there just at an angle so it's a little easier to tie in and not quite so bulky. Just gonna tie that in right there. Make sure I secure that in. You don't kind of want to tie in the full thickness of it, but just to get the taper towards the head is why I trim that foam. Um, otherwise, it's not gonna be very strong for you. And trim that off. Don't want to trim it too close. 
or too far and you if you try and trim to where I have some to work with if I feel like I need to take some off I can but if you trim too close that foam's not really going to do you any good as far as keeping it up in the the film if that's what you're looking to get out of this fly. If you want a slimmer profile, I feel like this is pretty slim as far as the profile goes, but you can use a super fine dubbing or an Antron if you want kind of more of the mottled color. Um, and again, you can tie this fly in a ton of different colors. You can do the head darker if you wanted. I'm just going to wrap one back, just kind of secure that post in there. Get up to the head. A couple more half hitches. I'm actually using this little Dr. Slick half hitch tool when it comes to small flies like this. I don't really like doing whip finishes necessarily if I can keep away from doing that like a lot more single knots I'll keep that head from coming apart on a fly this small and then trim our thread off and last but not least kind of tilt that fly up get that tail exposed I'm just gonna kind of trim this at an angle here I don't have a real clean flush cut. Just fluff it up a little bit. And give it that kind of shuck effect. And there's your chocolate foam back merger. Super easy fly. Um, very productive, especially in the winter when the little midges are popping off uh, in those smaller sizes, 20s and 22s. And this size works great for the betas hatches. Um, it's just a great fly as far as getting those fish that aren't quite coming up to adults and, and slurping on those emergers in the film. Uh, this fly will get there and typically stay there even if you get a, a little bit of moisture into the fly itself. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Check us out on YouTube, subscribe, Facebook. Uh, we do have a tying group on Facebook. Check that out as well. Thanks for watching.